We know, um, forget, forget about spring, it is not coming yet, yeah. sadly, because we're talking about snow. Live look outside right now. You can't tell how cold it is, but it's cold and getting snow in two days. Yeah, no Seriously? Way. I oh, guess we'll no. keep our day dresses in the closet for uh, our spring would. dresses anyway. Right, leave them <laughs> there. Stay put, because this is going to be a heavy, wet snow. So if you get the snow in your neighborhood, it's going to be difficult to shovel, but that's going to be mostly south and west away from the city. Temperatures are on the chilly side. In fact, right now, we have a 29 degree reading from Nancy in Laporte with a clear sky. And then we have 32 degrees when we check in with Kennedy in Platteville. He was giving us a look at a beautiful sunset this evening as the sun was going down. You know, the skies are generally clear tonight, and that's going to be the case as we go through the overnight. So tomorrow morning, we're going to start with sunshine. But then our attention turns to that winter storm. We do have a winter storm watch that begins late tomorrow night and lasts until Saturday afternoon. Here's the setup for the weekend trends. The jet stream will be in this position. Thunderstorms for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. And here's that swath of snow that we're watching, and then rain for the mid-Atlantic and still rain on the west coast until that system moves inland. So temperatures now are on the cold side. We have 34 degrees downtown, 22 in McHenry, 29 in DeKalb. Still seeing that northeast wind. Water temperature is 38. So tomorrow, shorefront temperatures are going to be much colder than inland areas, just like we saw today and yesterday. But this wind flow is also going to usher in some drier air, and it's already doing that. This rain that was developed over western Illinois is starting to fizzle southward because of that push of dry air. Everything over the west is just soaked with snow in the higher elevations. This moisture is going to work into the clipper system that's going to edge closer to us. So on Friday, it's going to be a battle between this dry air and this clipper system rolling in to see where exactly that swath of snow will set up. Right now, computer models indicate this dark blue color here, southern Minnesota through eastern Iowa. That would be the height of the heaviest snow, perhaps. So 6 to maybe 12 inches here in this swath of uh, uh, activity and when we look at the models around the area here it looks like southwest areas Ottawa would see the highest amounts maybe nothing though in the city so we'll have to keep looking at this storm track during the day tomorrow but we do clear out Robin Erica for Sunday and finding 50s by the middle of next week All right light at the end of the tunnel